Today, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing some Z Chocolato Fudge. It is made fresh in the heart of San Francisco. This is our favorite fudge ever. We've done lots of reviews of Z Chocolato Fudge. We have um, bought it ourselves. We have had it sent to us as a gift. This is actually a gift from Z Chocolato Fudge. So we are very, very thankful for this. Uh, we love their fudge. So we have six flavors in here to try. This box is very, very heavy. These very are heavy. bigger pieces than they appear. Uh, we have the Dark Chocolate Brownie, the North Beach Cheesecake, the Chocolate Almond, Pumpkin Latte, apple donut, and blueberry coffee cake. So I'm going to open each one of these for you so you can uh, see them up close. This is how I open them. Uh, there is, uh, there just uh, is a sticker at the bottom and I take my scissors and just put them right in there and they, they open very, very easily. If um, you are getting these in the summertime, and it's warm out, and these are kind of, if they feel like they're squishy to you, then put them in the refrigerator, and they're fine. They're perfectly fine. So, this looks wonderful. It looks like it has layers of caramel in there. It looks terrific. Now we have the North Beach Cheesecake. This one has raspberry, so you can clearly see that layer of raspberry and we've, we've had, had we've had one that was similar looking to that yes and if we've had any of these uh we're just gonna be trying them again because we haven't had them in a while <laughs> i don't know if we actually had that one it just looks like we that. might not but we we could have had some of the other ones we could have but even if we have it's it's just been so long that uh we're just gonna take this opportunity to to try them again And there is a lot of caramel. Like I said, if you want it to be firmer, then just put it in the refrigerator. Uh, that one is the chocolate almond. This one is the pumpkin latte. I love trying uh, seasonal, the seasonal foods. Oh, that's pretty. That's a very pretty piece of fudge. And then this next one is apple cider. Let's see. There we go. Not apple cider. Sorry. Apple donut. And you can see the layer in that. It looks like a Nella wafer or something. I smell the cinnamon. It smells wonderful. And then lastly, we have the blueberry coffee cake. Ooh. And there's like a a layer of blue in the center of that. Let's see. Yeah, you have your topping, like a streusel on top, but then you have a layer of like blue veining that goes all the way through. So we are going to start with the dark chocolate brownie. It is a classic brownie fudge with dark chocolate and caramel. The, the caramel is Yes, layered with flavor. We bake fresh brownies from scratch in our kitchen and add it to our creamy dark chocolate fudge, layer in caramel, and top it with another layer of chocolate brownies. Decadence in every bite. Wow, that it just looks incredible. That's why I like their fudge. <laughs> It just makes you happy. It just melts in your mouth, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. We've eaten a lot of fudge mm -hmm. from many different places. Paid ridiculous prices for them. Yes. Um, and some of it's dense, hard, sugary, crystallized stuff. And it's just not the same. No, it's not. This is a, a melt in your mouth fudge. Yeah, literally. And it feels like there's like cookie pieces in that. That brownie, that's the brownie in that one. Yeah, yeah. and it, um, it is a rich uh, chocolate. It is. But it's not the least bit bitter. It's no. incredibly sweet. It's very sweet. 
Yeah. I mean, it has a little bit of that brownie flavor, but it's not, like you said, it's not bitter or dark. It's just a really super sweet, melt in your mouth. Yes. Chocolate. And it tastes like <laughs> a brownie. Mm -hmm. A brownie with caramel. It, it's almost like the, the aftertaste is almost like I've eaten a brownie uh, batter. More yes. than a brownie. Yes. And the texture is so soft that... For me, I love to sneak, like after I've made the brownies, after I poured it into the pan and put that in the oven, the best part for me is licking the ball. So that is like licking the ball. Our daughter, we would actually, when I made brownies, we would actually just leave a little bit in the bottom of the thing so she could have some. Yes, yes. And, <laughs> Which and, I know you're not supposed to lick the balls with those things. But, but, but we, we do. do. Yeah, we do. And, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. The whole time she was growing up, I would always leave like, yes. a spoonful in the bottom for yes. her to enjoy. And that's what that reminds me yep, of. It's it licking the brownie ball. So yeah. that is wonderful. wonderful. I would encourage you to order that anytime. Yeah, it's very, very good. Uh, this next one is North Beach Cheesecake. Okay. It is, it says, truly a taste of North Beach. Whether you're in a cafe, bar, bookstore, or sitting at home, you'll feel like you're in buzzy San Francisco neighborhood. Did I get the um, one then? This, no, that's it. Okay. It is a local favorite. It is raspberry cheesecake fudge. It looks like it has like a layer of um, like graham. Graham. It's hard to tell. I like that raspberry. I don't even like raspberry, and I like that raspberry. Kevin's not a raspberry person. How could you not like that? It is so sweet. <laughs> I and mean, really. Yes, it's it's sugary sweet. So some people would say it's, it's too, too sweet. Oh, some people would say always are too sweet because yes. they are over the top. But sweet. that's why we like them. And the good thing is, I've had you all tell me. After you've watched our reviews of Z Chocolato, you have ordered from them and you have told me that it lasts you a while because you can only eat a <laughs> little piece and, um, and then you're done. Well, and that's then, a good thing though. I mean, that, you get your money's worth. I think so too. Sure. And uh, that's why I always tell you too the size is deceptive because you mm -hmm. see this little square and you think, Oh, that's not going to last. I can eat no that time. No, um, no time flat. No. It's so rich. It's rich. It mm -hmm. is rich and delicious. Yeah, so this is not one you want to just gobble down. No. No. No, you want to, to enjoy it mm -hmm. thoroughly. But that raspberry is delicious. I love it. And, and the cheesecake flavor is very nice too. It's it's still got that cheesecake flavor, but it does have that really sour, sour uh, cream cheese kind of flavor that you get sometimes with cheese, cheesecake. Right. It, it tastes it, like cheesecake, but without the harsh tang. Kind of like a, a no-baked cheesecake from Jell-O. Yes. Yeah, you know how that kind of has that cheesecake flavor, but it's not like cream cheese. Right, right. Kind of reminds you of that. Yes, I agree. This one is the chocolate almond. It's got almonds in it all through it. And, ah, chocolate almond delight. And Quick to become your favorite dessert. Milk chocolate fudge with caramel and almonds blended in. It's funny the difference from the chocolates. Mm -hmm. That is a true like a milk chocolate. It's not quite as like in your face, like, you know, there. The brownie one was very like rich and, and strong. Mm -hmm. This is more of a, a lighter chocolate flavor, but it's excellent. I mean, it's it's awesome, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, it's just not as, I don't know, not as bold. <laughs> there's a difference a there yes there's a difference mm -hmm. in a rich brownie chocolate and then just milk chocolate yeah, like a candy bar and that brownie one is distinctly brownie um yes this is more like your um milk chocolate candy bar mm -hmm. it still is very very rich That's very good. sweet but they used like whole almonds yeah. in there. Yeah. They and weren't so hard though that I, I was able to cut them in half. Yes, so. and I'll get a picture at the end because yeah, you oh, can't yeah, see good. what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, can you pick two, yes, huge almonds, but they're all through there. Yeah. And uh, so you really do not only get the crunch, but you get the flavor of the almonds. Mm -hmm. So that was really nice very nice. Chocolate and a little bit of the caramel. The caramel doesn't stand out like a really strong, like, Ooh, that's caramel, but right. it does 
you can't taste it. Okay, so it. if you were to, to go for chocolates between the brownie mm. and the milk chocolate, you can only choose one. Which one are you choosing? Um, if I like the almonds in that. Yes. But I think I would get the brownie. I would get the brownie too because but, it's just so rich. I, I agree. I do really like the chocolate. I do too. And if it was the chocolate maybe without the almonds, mm -hmm. I would probably pick the, if it had something else, maybe like peanuts or something like that, I might be choose that one but right. but for me the almonds are just a crunch flavor right a crunch, crunch factor not a flavor right <laughs> okay the next one is the pumpkin latte i mean you really can't go wrong with either no one. no <laughs> pumpkin latte nothing signifies fall like pumpkin and coffee and we've combined the two into our newest flavor pumpkin spice latte fudge very sticky Wow. The minute it hits your tongue, it's coffee. Mm hmm These are a little sticky because we got them in the mail and we are immediately trying them. <laughs> Good <We>, way. <laughs> we didn't put them in the refrigerator at all. Mm -hmm. So if you put them in the refrigerator, they won't be this sticky. But... When I tell you they're our favorite fudge, they're our favorite. So, oh. like, when we get, got this, we were like, oh, my gosh, we have to try this right now. Um, the coffee is like a, um, um, it is a, uh, it's a strong, um, like a cappuccino. Yeah. Um, but you know what? It's not really strong and bitter. It is a strong flavor, but it's not, like, bitter like coffee. No, I agree. It, it doesn't have a bitterness to it. And you but, get a little bit of the pumpkin spice too. But you do get the pumpkin spice, yes. You get the, um, I feel like I get the nutmeg, the strongest, mm -hmm. the nutmeg, and then that coffee. Yeah. And it's really uh, creamy. It's I not, like that. It's not a flavor I personally would get because I don't like a lot of um, um, coffee flavored items in general, period. Right. So that's not one I would probably myself order, but I think if you like a pumpkin spice coffee, I think they did a yes, wonderful think job. Think of the people that order. The, oh yeah, yeah. They did a great job on it. It's just not a personal favorite. Okay, this is the apple donut. I'm gonna find a good place. And it is. It says, "Put on your boots. It's apple picking season. Made with apple cider fudge. See, I said I said apple cider. Apple cider fudge. A middle layer of Nella wafers. You thought this what they mm -hmm. looked like. And topped with cinnamon and sugar, this seasonal fudge tastes like fall. That's a firmer fudge. It's just not as much there to be sticky. Mm. I love that layer, like cinnamon sugar on top. Yes. I didn't really get apple necessarily. Maybe a little bit, but that, that cinnamon is so strong. That's what I think. To me, it um, the the cinnamon is the, the star of the show. Mm -hmm. So anything else in there, although I love it, I think it's wonderful, but anything else in there is drowned out by the cinnamon. Which is excellent. Which is excellent, but it, I would have called it, if I was like blindfolded, I would have called that churro because yeah. it, it's so strong on the cinnamon sugar that I really don't get anything no. else. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of an aftertaste of that, like tart apple kind of flavor, but it's it's really. I don't could get be an any apple. But then again, I'm not complaining because I love it so it's much. So good. If you're expecting a strong apple, you might be a little disappointed just because it's mainly cinnamon and sugar. But yeah, it's not like um, an apple pie apple. It's not like that strong. No, uh, but I'm crazy about that. That's really good. That's churro. one of my favorite one. Yeah. Okay, the last one we have is blueberry coffee cake. And it says fudge for breakfast. That's me, fudge for breakfast. This limited time flavor will go perfect with your morning cup of joe. Cafe latte fudge mixed with a ribbon of blueberry fudge topped with a brown sugar crumble crust and a vanilla drizzle. All right. Mm. I like that. That blueberry is nice. Mm -hmm. Just in case you can't see it, there's that blue ribbon. Mm -hmm. there. Mm. That's really nice too. The blueberry, the blueberry in that is almost like the raspberry is in the raspberry one. It's similar. 
sweet. As far as uh, sweet, the, the strength. Amount of strength of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can really taste it. Um, yes, it the, the it's the same blueberry flavor that you would get in a really nice blueberry muffin. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I love about that, that's different from the other ones, is that crumble on top. Yeah, it's a little crunchy texture to yes, it. Yes, you get a crunchiness to it that the other ones didn't have. Although the brownie one did have that crunch from the, the brownie. A little bit. Um, it, yeah, because it, it almost seemed like there was a cookie in the brownie one. Yeah. Um, but I really do like the, it tastes like a really sweet blueberry with that crumble. Yeah, it's almost like the blueberry's been dunked in like frosting. Mm -hmm. or, or not even frosting, like a glaze, like an right. icing, like a vanilla icing. That's what it's almost like. They're, they're, it's really good too. <laughs> so you can order these. Well, I don't dislike any of them. No, not at all. Them. You can order uh, as little as a four pack. Um, but then they have the six pack. I think they have a pack of nine and it goes up from there. You could probably order just about whatever you wanted. Um, if you order um, uh, $25 worth, which is easy to do, it's free shipping nationwide. Nationwide free shipping for $25 order or over. So I think you're getting a heck of a deal because shipping is outrageous these mm -hmm. days. So to me, that's a really good deal. Um, and I can just tell you my personal, how I would eat these. I, I would literally eat just a fourth of one of these. Mm -hmm. I could push it to get a half. I was really, really wanted something overly sweet, but really about a fourth is, is enough to hit your sweet tooth. Oh, yes. And it would last, think about it, if you get six pieces and you divide each one of them into four pieces, yeah. that would last you a while. I can tell you that I've had a lot of people watch our reviews of Z Chocolato and they've ordered for themselves. I've never had anyone say they didn't like it. Yeah. They've all Except gotten back the with people, me. The only one that said anything was that they're awfully sweet. I can't eat. All, they're all sweet. Yeah, they said they're sweet, and and I. It, but that's a good thing because yeah. they last so long yeah. that you just eat a sliver of it and then that's it. But that wasn't negative. Trust no, me, and no. it was. That's what I'm saying. That's the only comment you really got. Yeah, about. but people have. And I've never had anyone say anything negative or that they regret getting it. Everyone raves about it. It. it they do a really good job. Uh, they come not only in this box, but then there's also a like a, brown, um, a paper, brown a brown cardboard box, and then that was in an uh, in a mailer. In a mailer, yes. Yeah. So they do a really good job mm -hmm. with shipping, and they get they get it out to you pretty quick too. Yeah. I tell you what, if you even if you don't like really sweet things or, or want fudge. If you know someone that likes sweet uh, stuff or fudge, it would make the most awesome birthday. It would be an incredible gift. I mean, this was a gift for us. Yeah, it, we it, were so happy. We were like, <laughs> <laughs> fudge. Uh, so yes, you're gonna make somebody really, really happy. And there's lots of flavors to choose mm -hmm. from. So they have seasonal ones, but then they have some that are out. Yeah, all just the time. to have normal flavors like chocolate and vanilla, and yeah. Yes. Uh, so out of this group, you know Ooh, what I'm gonna make? If I can only buy one. Only one. Only one. That's awfully hard. I know. My last place would be the pumpkin only because it's not my thing. Right, the, because it's coffee. Yeah, the blueberry yeah. one would kind of probably be down there too. Hmm. I'm between the two chocolate ones, honestly, and the cinnamon one. I really like the cinnamon one too. If the cinnamon one had a stronger apple flavor, I would probably would have picked that up there. Right, and that's why it's so high for me is because the apple wasn't that wasn't strong. Better. So I like the cinnamon flavor. I'm going to say the brownie one. Um, I'm, uh, it's so hard to choose. I'm going to say the brownie one too, though. Um, really, these three would be my first choice. The the brownie, the other, the chocolate almond one, and this uh, raspberry one. That one. Those is, would be my three, like, first choices. Okay. That one is called dark chocolate brownie, yeah. if you're looking for it. So, um, it's really good. That's going to be my first place too. Yeah. And then my second place is going to be the raspberry, which they're calling North Beach Cheesecake. That's going to be my number two. My number three is going to be, I keep wanting to call it churro, but it's not. Apple it donut. It is the apple donut. Yeah. That's what it's called, apple donut. Those are my top three out of those. Yeah, and my top three are these three at the bottom, yeah. the chocolate. But again we can't rave enough about it it's delicious so like i said whether they had sent it to us or not we'll always be honest with you we oh, yeah. have bought it ourselves yeah we purchased it many times on our own yeah so. we've been gifted it so it's yeah we we will i never want anyone to waste their money so this is a company and we also did a video of companies that we feel like you should order from this was in that video of like our top 10 or 15 companies to order from 
Z Chocolata was in there. So I'll have a close up picture for you at the end of the video and thanks for watching.